we now want to use implicit differentiation. So far, every function that we worked with was defined explicitly. The y's were alone on one side of the equation. But what happens if the y's are not alone in an equation? One option is to solve for y, but many times that's not possible. Implicit functions, if we have y or powers of y embedded, we have to do something special. These are the steps we can follow. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, we have to be careful with terms that don't have x's in them. Um, then we move all the terms of dy dx to the left side or convenient side and solve for dy dx by factoring out the dy dx and then dividing both sides by what's left. Let's look at the example x squared plus y squared equals 2xy. To take the derivative of x squared we get 2x, no problem, plus the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx. Now because this is a different letter when we take apply the chain rule to times y times the derivative of y, which is dy dx, equals 2x, we apply the product rule, the derivative 2x times the derivative of y, which will be dy dx, plus y times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So let's keep this on the left and move this one over to the left-hand side. So we have 2y dy dx minus 2x dy dx. Let's move this one to the right, so we have 2y minus 2x, factor out a dy dx, because that's what we're going to solve for, and we're left with 2y minus 2x. Let's divide through by 2y minus 2x in an effort to solve for dy dx, which is our sole purpose here. So we're left with dy dx equals 1. Let's look at x equal tangent of x plus y. Take the derivative with respect to x, we get 1. The derivative of the tangent is the secant squared of x plus y times the derivative of what's inside. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is dy dx. Let's multiply this out. 1 equals the secant squared of x plus y plus dy dx times the secant squared of x plus y. Let's move this term to the left. We have 1 minus secant squared of x plus y equals dy dx times the secant squared of x plus y. Let's divide through both sides by secant squared of x plus y. So this is our answer, however, 1 minus secant squared, that's going to be exactly the same as negative tangent squared of x plus y. And we can continue by using other identities from trigonometry. The tangent is the same as the sine squared over the cosine squared. But secant squared in the denominator is the same as the cosine squared in the numerator. So when the smoke clears, we wind up with negative sine squared of x plus y being dy dx using implicit differentiation.